right. Well, take a wild guess what's going to happen today. Here's a hint. Here's a big old hint. All right. So what do we have here? We've got 500 grams of that blue, beautiful pizza flour. I've got my poolish. And I've got 300 grams of water with 20 grams of salt. And these are the components for the dough. Now the poolish I made last night, and the poolish consists of equal parts of uh, flour and water, and then um, five grams of yeast and five grams of honey. And I'm going to dissolve all of that salt so that it's, you know, completely dissolved. I'm gonna mix these two first, the flour and the poolish, and then I'm gonna add the water. And we're gonna make our nice pizza dough. And then we're going to attempt to make some nice Neapolitan pizzas today. All right, so there's the dough. Uh, before I've done anything to it, it just tapped a little olive oil on top. It's all mixed. Uh, now the next few steps are going to be shaping it. And then later, pizza. Woo okay, it is time to now start turning this into the ball. And then it's going to take its next rest. So... I'm going to gently pick it up and fold it into a ball. You'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so there it is. You know, in the video, it doesn't look much different, but I basically folded it and folded it until I got it to be smooth on top. I put a little olive oil on there, and now I'm going to let it rest for an hour, covered with a towel. The dough is a little bit cold, though, because it's cooler in this house. So it might have to rest longer than an hour. We'll see. All right, we need one teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to get the rest of the herbs. Half teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to do half teaspoon of basil and parsley. And there's some crushed black pepper in there. All right, so here's my olive oil with a little bit of garlic in there. And as soon as that starts to sizzle a little, I'm going to lower that flame a little bit. I'm going to release its aromas. Now, I don't want to really cook the garlic much. I just want it to um, soften a bit and release its aromas. And then we're going to add in the herbs. All right, so that's the salt, pepper, uh, Italian seasoning, parsley, and basil. Okay, just a half teaspoon of each of the herbs. A little bit of crushed black pepper. A teaspoon of salt. That's it. And now I have to put the camera down so I can put in the tomatoes. All right, so I just put the tomatoes in and I just lightly crushed them uh, with my hand because I do want some nice big chunks. And this is only going to simmer, I don't know, half an hour, maybe an hour. All right, I'm just, I'm not going to cook it long. I just want everything to blend and it makes a nice sauce. And it's a delicious pizza sauce, but it can go on anything. Um, and just for the record, I'm using the uh, Cento San Marzano Organic Peeled Tomatoes. You don't have to use these. Uh, I do recommend you use peeled tomatoes. They don't have to be Cento. They don't have to be San Marzano. But by uh, crushing them lightly with your hand like that, you're going to have nice chunks of tomato in your sauce, which goes nice on this pizza, especially if you're making like a margarita-style Neapolitan pizza. So that's it. I'm going to close this up and uh, let it simmer. Okay, so the dough has rested. Now I'm going to divide it into four. Um, and I have a good idea of how much it really should weigh. But, you know, certain amounts sticks to your fingers. I, I want to make it exact. So I'm going to weigh it and I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. Okay, so you see it's 1,157 grams or two pounds, eight ounces. Okay, so I have four 10-ounce pieces. I'm going to try to keep that on the top and just roll them into little balls and then let them rest one hour. Okay, so today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm only going to make pizza today, so I'm going to use one of these to make my pizza today, and the other three are going to go in the freezer so that this part is done. So what I'm going to be very careful to do is to get each of these balls, three of them, into a little plastic bag with the seam side down and then 
uh, tuck it in the freezer, make sure it stays seam side down so that I know the next time I pull one out, all I have to do is defrost it, let it puff up a little bit, and then make my pizza. Okay, so here we go. There's the one I'm gonna use for pizza today. And these three are going in the freezer so that the next time I wanna make it, all I gotta do is take it out early in the morning, let it defrost, let it puff a little, and then make my pizza. Okay, I put a little olive oil on top. It's covered with plastic. I'm gonna let that puff up for about an hour. Then I'm gonna get my oven going. I'm gonna let my oven preheat at 550 for about 45 minutes, and then it's gonna be pizza time. All right, I turned on the oven. It is almost pizza time. Look at how beautiful that dough looks. Oh man, and I just have to be careful that I work it correctly. I don't deflate it, and we're gonna make a beautiful Neapolitan pizza. All right, here we go. Put that aside. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on top of that. And I'm going to just try to separate it from the countertop. I don't want to disturb it too much. Okay? Now I'm going to put it into the bowl. Gently. Here. That didn't sound gentle, but it was gentle. Flip it over. Okay, and put it on my board. Okay, now what I want to do is pinch all the air out to the crust. But I'm not stretching yet. Pinching the air to the crust. Turn it over. It's a very soft, pliable dough, which is, right? very soft pliable dough okay and now I'm gonna just hold and stretch hold and stretch flip it I think I'm getting the hang of this I think I'm getting the hang of this okay next step is to get it onto my peel. Okay, so I don't want to stretch it too much. I just want to get it onto the peel. I can always expand it a little bit if I want. Right? Okay, just like that. And now I'm gonna sauce it up. Okay, so what you see next to me here, this is the Torrington pizza. And we just have a couple of leftover slices that we're going to compare. Now, I don't want to go crazy with the sauce, but I don't want to be stingy either, okay? And I got to remember to put my oregano. Yeah, see, I want to make sure, and you got to be very careful here because if the dough bottom gets wet, or if you wait too long, it might stick to the peel and then it's not going to come off into the oven. That would be bad. Right, and you see, I just want to make sure that I get that tomato evenly distributed. I don't want to over sauce it. And remember, I have a regular oven, so this, those jets you hear those jets, man? Those jets are constantly flying overhead. You know, I'm, I'm not terribly far from Newark and I'm really close to Teterboro and it's just constant. Okay, that's it. I'm, that's all I'm gonna do on the sauce, right? And that's probably too much. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of oregano and then into the oven it goes. Uh, it just went in, so it's not risen yet, but that's gonna rise very briefly. Very soon it's gonna rise. All right, let's take a look. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now that has to come out so I can put the cheese on. Okay, it is cheese time. Right, but see, now that I've gotten a nice rise, right, and because I, I want to make sure that the dough is cooked all the way through, and I want to make sure I don't burn the cheese. That's what's critical here. 
Don't want to burn that cheese. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of basil on top. Looks good, huh? And those jets are just relentless, aren't they? Okay. Uh, let me get a spoon so I could drizzle a little bit of olive oil onto that basil. And then... We're gonna cook it to completion. Okay, here it is. Now, pay attention. Right, it's got a little crunch on it, um, but the dough is nice and soft. I'm gonna now brush it with a little olive oil on the outside. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little Parmigiano Reggiano, but I'm not gonna cut it immediately. I'm gonna let it rest, I don't know, five minutes, 10 minutes. You see how luscious that looks, right? Isn't that beautiful? This is probably the best I've done. You know, I just keep getting better at it, I guess. Um, you know, and the next time I do it, I might fail, but I'm getting better at it. Probably the best I've done. And here a little fresh grated Parmigiano Reggiano. And that's it. Okay, in about five minutes or ten minutes, I'm gonna cut it and have a little pizza. And this is the Torrington pizza. That's from the Berkshire Cafe next to it. This is the one that we love from up there, but they're two very different slices. They're both delicious though. Okay, here we go. I'm going right across. Let's go right across. Okay. And now I'm gonna take this one and go right across and take this one Look at that, how nice and airy that is, right? Look at that nice crust. So I got my cheese falling off a little bit, that's okay. Maybe I should put less cheese. No, I disagree. I should not put less cheese. <laughs> that looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, this thing looks like, oh my God, it's so good. See how the crust is cooked through, right? And look at how, when I press it, it's still soft, but it's crunchy on the outside. And that's what we're looking for. See it? It's still soft, but it's crunchy on the outside. Oh my God. This is probably the best one I've ever done. 